Hello everyone. Well, our venue today is a true football monument. I'm talking, of course, about the San Siro. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from Serie A. It's Inter facing Fiorentina. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. The Inter starting lineup. Samir Handanovic begins between the posts. Milan Skriniar plays alongside Stefan de Frey in central defence. Hakan Chalhanolu starts alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And Edin Dzeko starts alongside Lautaro Martinez. Well, here's how it looks for Fiorentina. Lucas Torreira plays alongside Giacomo Bonaventura in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And so the battle commences. Decision was lacking, throw in coming up. Space afforded him, and there's the feed into the box. And the corner's been given. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, nothing wrong with the header, but it was always going that little bit off target. Simply wide of the target. Skriniar. Well, Inter have hit the heights in terms of scoring goals. Can't argue with that record. Well, the movement of the front players is key. They're always threatening the space behind the opposition, and when the ball does go wide, they work so hard to find that bit of room away from their markers. They've been brilliant, and these fans have been treated to some great football. And unable to keep the ball. Over the byline, hence a goal kick.
Alessandro Bastoni. And a poor pass it was. No getting away from it. Throw in here. Bonaventura. Options in the middle. It might be on for them. And now Bonaventura. Spectacular save. Top class goalkeeping. Getting in there to intercept. Bonaventura. Might really be able to trouble them here. Bonaventura. Pinto did well to regain control of the ball. Martinez. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Torreira. Piontek. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Biragi. Alert defending. And he's lost custody of the ball here. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, it fizzled out. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Alessandro Bastoni setting off perhaps a little bit too much here Skriniar and they'll get ready for the throw in Barella Effective looking pass. It's a good inter move in the making. And a really single minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. And that puts them in position. And it all counts for naught. This attack looks highly promising. Odrio Zola. It's with Duncan. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. No worries for the keeper. Barella. That is tackling of the highest order. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. We can get more details on that injury situation from our man pitch side, Jeff Shreves. Jeff? Yep, he's not putting his full weight on that foot at the moment because he actually got trodden on in the last challenge. Keep an eye on this one. Cheers, Jeff. Dumfries. Brozovic. Well, there you have it. In terms of possession, there's not much in it. It really has been a hard-fought battle so far. One of these teams needs to start taking a risk or two. Well, Inter couldn't hang on to it. Bonaventura. What a shame that he couldn't find the target from there.
Alessandro Bastoni. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Rodrigo Zola. He could pick out a teammate. Rodrigo Zola. Oh, could be. Oh, he's blocked it. And a goal. Well, it looks easy when you can put them away like that. Again, and I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper because he makes a very good save to start with. Where are his defenders following in? It's the attackers that get there first, and it's a very good finish. Well, back on the way here, and that really should shake up into a bit, you would think. Losing possession. Jekko, Inter in a position of menace, Perisic, and here's Talanoru, determined defending, not to be advised giving the ball away there, and just one minute of time added on for stoppages. Moving forward effectively. Perisic, and here's Chalanoru. This could square the game. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. So, the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. So they get the ball rolling again with Inter behind. Can they turn this around? Brozovic. On the ball, Bastoni. And the pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in then. That ball looks promising. A move of promise on the flank. Teammate in support. A really top-notch piece of defending. That's very effective. Good high pressing. They've got it now. What can they do? Crossed into the penalty area. Oh no, it's gone horribly wrong in terms of the finish. Jekko. And the emphasis is on creativity. But nothing comes of it. Well, the counter chance looks very real. All hands on deck. Well, it petered out. Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. And the referee has given the corner. So maybe scope here for them to add to their lead. And the opportunity goes a begging. He decided to hit that with power rather than going for placement. An inability to keep hold of the ball there. And room now out on the wing. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. 
Not an attempt that will live long in the memory. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. Determined defending. Torreira. And running through to the keeper. Ivan Perisic. 30 minutes left for play. And a very good challenge. Options in the centre. But he took care of it defensively. And the upshot of that is offside. Well, he needed to look elsewhere because the flag was always going to go up. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Well, he was in the right place to intercept. Bonaventura. Torreira. Well, a good tackle. This is looking threatening, but quick thinking defensively. Oh, stylish ball. What can they do now? Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. They've lost it. Bonaventura here. Well, knocked on the target. The keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered, but it's not a bad effort, though. He really did strike it well. Well, they've decided to make a change. and into the last 20 minutes Dzeko and in the perfect position to read it Dzeko Brozovic. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Well, dealt with that ball comfortably. Well, Fiorentina have found it difficult to control the ball so far, but when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. keeper Odrio Sola crossing into the middle and the cross didn't beat the first man Chalanolu now can they counter clinically well it petered out produce on the flank oh bruising past him it's an effective cross aimed at the back first oh a splendid save and it gives them some hope here not long left though well having been awarded the corner they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt <laughs> time for the change now <laughs> who can they pick out and the danger's still on well, the goalkeeper doing what he's paid to do.
And he's fired over the corner. It hasn't come to very much. Can he finish them off? He's done it. What a climax to this game. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. Well, a second goal for them here. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Oh, he's given us away. Torreira Castrovilli possession one nearing the end of the game and it has been an off day from an Inter point of view Stuart well there are two main reasons why they're losing this game firstly they've not shown enough desire to close the opposition down and secondly they haven't defended their box well enough it's been a poor defensive display throw-ins given Well, that shouldn't really happen from a throw-in. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. In behind for him to chase. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Could cross it in here. And cuts inside. This looks promising. Well, able to close down the shot. Duncan. And a poor ball. So that is that full time here and not a result Inter fans will be especially happy with. Well, you can be a great attacking team, as we talked about, but if you don't defend with a tactical understanding or work hard enough to close the opposition down, you'll get performances like we've just seen. Today, they simply weren't good enough without the ball.